we recommend you sit, you know, per, be a good person, <laughs> make an intention to uh, want to have that self-knowledge, the knowledge of the self, the big self, your true nature. Um, you would draw, find it, sit down, because you don't want to be standing or walking. You find, um, you uh, settle the mind, and you start with the breath, work on concentration, and then move into an object to concentrate on. Or, like I said, you could just spot on the wall or an image in your mind and you just kind of, or just your breath. Sometimes they, they say focus on like one breath going in one nostril. <laughs> it's so weird, but it actually does calm you. Or a place on your body, like maybe holding your finger and just kind of like be there focusing on like the sensation. And then mm. eventually just staying with that. And, and as the thoughts come, you're not trying to push them away. You're just letting them go by and not like hooking into them. And then the finding that stream, like it's almost like I want to find, like you're just kind of not grasping at the stream, but allowing the stream to surface. So it's like you're just yeah. looking for it to arise. Yeah, and um, as oh, and how how many minutes should they so like say someone's just starting out meditating? What do you recommend as far as how long to do it? Oh, uh, twenty minutes is really. Uh, a good starting point. Mm -hmm. uh, if you really want to practice meditation, I think you can find 20 minutes in your life somewhere to, or in your day to meditate. Mm. Um, and again, don't be hooked into trying to obtain a certain state of mind, mm -hmm. but more focus on the steps and practicing them, almost like a routine. Right, you're like a yoga routine, right? Yeah, you're going to do your downward dog. And you're simply practicing, reaching and calming your mind uh, so that then you can start to take the reins of it. Do you recommend maybe doing some yoga poses before meditation? That's right. It, well, I mean, the main yoga pose is what the Buddha is, uh, is mm -hmm. illustrating in the back there, um, the, the lotus position mm -hmm. or the half lotus position. It's an asana, meaning it's it's a, a physical discipline. It, it it expresses the idea that you're you're putting the the physical body under the direction of the higher mind. Mm. That the higher mind has presence over the body. Mm. So so the body, the mind dragging behind uh, the body, the yeah. body, the mind is is in charge. The mind is in charge and is directing it. And the higher mind, not the ego mind. And, and what happens with repeated practice is as soon as you get into the meditation position, your mind also kind of clicks into mm. that relax, relaxation mode. It's conditioned, right? Yeah, it starts to uh, kind of recondition you or decondition you to where you start to experience that natural state of mind. Well, when you close your eyes, you're naturally, your brain uh, alters to go into that uh, meditative state just by closing your eyes. Because closing your eyes to, we're so used to sleeping every mm -hmm. night. So it's like kind of a, a we're, that pattern is already there. So we already have like the physical mechanisms to prepare ourselves. Um, we just have to stay awake. So we don't recommend lying down and because uh, you can fall asleep. And you don't want to fall asleep during meditation. That's not the, yeah. the goal. You want to be awake, awake for the samadhi. <laughs> you don't want to be sleeping through it. Yeah, uh, that yeah, you go through every night that you miss. So you don't want to miss the good stuff. So, yeah. but it is really a beautiful practice. I think it's a way to uh, for self love. It's to bring you back to your own power um, versus feeling the powers in objects or people out there. That you're you're kind of reclaiming your own power, your own inner connection to your spiritual wisdom, and uh, it's a beautiful process.